Illustrator can be used to create many types of artwork. In this lesson, you'll use the shape tools, work with basic selection techniques, and assemble some artwork using object stacking order. Along the way, you'll learn some helpful tips for creating artwork on your own. So I'm starting out with the AI0303 file open, which is just four guides. First thing I'm going to do is make sure my rulers are showing, and you can see that in this case they are. But if yours are not, you can press Command or Control R. That toggles the ruler off and on. Now I'm also right clicking on the ruler and choosing inches. This is the contextual way, quick easy way that you can change the unit of measurement in an Illustrator document. I'm now selecting the rounded rectangle tool and I'm clicking and dragging within the guides. Now I'm quickly applying a fill by going up to fill in the control panel and selecting CMYK blue. Next, I'm adding an additional shape. I'm clicking up in the control panel to make that panel disappear, and then I'm selecting polygon, and I wanna make a triangle. Now, another way you can make a shape instead of clicking and dragging is just by simply selecting a tool and clicking. And I'm gonna make sure my sides are set to three because I wanna create a triangle, leave the radius at whatever size it is, and click OK. I'm switching to my selection tool you'll see a bounding box appears with handles so that I can adjust the size visually if I want. Now you'll notice that under view, I have something here that says hide bounding box. If you're not seeing this bounding box, make sure this does not say show bounding box because that means it's not visible and you can release on it if it does say show. In this case, hide bounding box is indicating that it is presently visible. Now I need this to be an exact size, so I'm clicking up on transform to bring up the transform panel and I'm selecting width and I'm typing in 0.5 for a half inch and then I'm selecting two, two inches for the height and then I click back up on the control panel to get rid of the transform panel and I've got my shape. Now I'm pressing D to go back to the default color of fill being white and black being the stroke. I'm also going up to stroke and I'm selecting none. Now I'm pressing Command Y or Control Y if you're on the PC and this switches you to the outline view. And if I press Command Y back, it puts me back in preview. So I'm pressing Command Y and the reason I'm doing this is because I need to put the point of the triangle exactly on the center point of this rectangle. So I click and drag and pull it down. I wanna rotate this triangle an exact amount. You can rotate many ways. I'm going to show you two that I'm not going to use and then the third that I will use for this particular item. So I'm selecting the rotate tool and you'll see that you can rotate this way. You can click on an axis anywhere and then click and drag to rotate. You can also rotate by double clicking on the rotate tool and entering an exact amount or angle and then checking off whether you want to copy this or just click OK to rotate that same item once. Now the method I'm going to use is this. I'm selecting the rotate tool. I'm holding down my option or alt key. Now first of all, I'm going to make sure this is exactly on that center point. I must have repositioned it. So rotate tool, option or alt and click exactly on the point that I want to rotate on or the axis and I get the angle in here that I can enter an exact amount in. Now, I'm no math whiz, but I know that if I want to go into a complete circle, that's 360 degrees. So if I put a value in here that fits into 360 degrees, like for instance, I know that 18 degrees will go in 20 times, then I know that I can create something that will radiate and end up creating a perfect space between each object when I make the circle. So in other words, if I type in here 18, or I could type 36 if I want less triangles in that circle, I can click on copy and it starts rotating. Now, if I press Command D over and over again, you'll see that when I get to the end, it fits perfectly. 